Hey you guys, it's Diane with 303 High Priestess. This is a reading for Sagittarius, October 2018. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. You guys have already shuffled your cards. I'm going to shuffle them just a few more times here. Sagittarius. So my cards for Sagittarius. October 2018. Whew. Strong. Strong Sagittarius. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. Mm. Really? Okay, one more for you, Sagittarius. <sighs> There's some type of air sign in your life. Okay, I feel like this is your energy though. This you have the Knight of Wands. Okay, you have the Hangman in reverse, and you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Get him in reverse, and then you have the Seven of Swords. In reverse. I want to keep saying wands too. So you may be dealing with fire sign as well. Someone that is a fire sign just like you Sagittarius. You may be dealing with someone. Okay. Anywhere in their chart. Some rising or Venus sign. Anywhere in their chart. Okay. This energy right here though. I feel like this is you. You're starting to see the big picture of shit. That's what I'm getting. Okay. And... You're trying to overcome these challenges that you're dealing with, with whoever this is. Sagittarius. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to let this person ride, like go, because... This person is sneaky and they lie and they're manipulative, okay? I see them watching you too, all right? This may be the same damn sign as you. Maybe another Sagittarius that you're dealing with. Maybe an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but this person is spying on you. They're watching you. They lie to you. They're very deceptive and manipulative as well. You're trying to get away away from them you're understanding and seeing the big picture that it can't get any worse okay that you need to move on from the situation and i feel like you know that if you release this person you stop holding on to this person that things will start moving forward for you all right Some of you guys are going to be moving from your home into another home. You're going to be separating from someone and you're going to be doing it quickly. You're going to be taking action quickly. Okay, but you, Sagittarius, you almost got the energy of an Aries right now, I'm feeling. Like you're ready to take action right now. That may be in some of y'all charts as well. Fire and fire, okay? And you're just that type of spontaneous person, okay? That you see the big picture very quickly. And I don't feel like you guys are going to wait around, okay? You may be stalling a little bit right now with this... With this hangman being here, the energy of this hangman, and this is a major arcana. So this is something that is very likely happening to you guys. But this is also telling me that they're telling me like, like this is a needless sacrifice. You don't need to do this. Okay. That whoever this is, their energy, this person that's around you, their energy 
is no good, okay? Lying, deception, being manipulative, just not being truthful. And playing a lot of mind games with you as well, okay? It's like the fuckery, the trickery. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what's coming towards you. That's who's coming towards you. These people, and I feel like it's multiple pe people in your life. Even people that you thought that was good to you, true to you, okay? That's what I'm getting here. So what other obstacles are you guys faced with? Sagittarius. Some of you guys are trying to move away from this situation. You're trying to leave your home. You're like, I'm done with y'all. I'm done. But you're stalling doing it. Like you're second guessing yourself. For sometimes the first answer was the right one. Okay. Yes, it is. It is a difficult choice for you guys. That's why you're stalling. Because it's a difficult choice. And I just said that and then I put down the hangman again. Because I told you it's very important. You got to hear again. Okay. In the upright position this time. Okay. So your obstacle you guys is releasing this situation. You awakening from this situation. Okay. And rising above it. That's what you're struggling with. Okay. You have the page of fire. And you have the two of air. You have you're having a problem making a choice. Okay, this is difficult decisions, and you're being very indecisive right now. That's your problem. Whoever you're dealing with, if this is if this is a love for you, Airy um, Sagittarius, I told you he was fucking with the Aries, Sagittarius. If this <laughs> is a love for you, this is a stalemate relationship. Okay. No move, no change, okay? Great tensions in, you, in your head about it. Unable or, and unwilling to make a decision. This person is a stalemate for you, whoever this is, okay? That's your obstacle. This is what you guys are dealing with, making the decision to leave. Some of you leaving home, I'm seeing this. You're like packing up and going. You have a page of fire, guys are just struggling struggling to let go how's this person feeling about you Sagittarius I got the romance angel cards out just in case we are talking about a significant other okay Sagittarius please give me for October 2018 how's this person feeling about you how do they feel about you Sagittarius Somebody that you were going to be with or thought you were going to have a long relationship with. Someone that you like seeing yourself with and you thought that you were going to be with them. Okay. And there was a possibility of you wanting to marry this person. You have very strong, deep, romantic feelings about them and you know them. Okay. And you guys reveal some things about each other. That's why. You probably had a really strong connection with them, okay? This is how you're feeling. That's how this is how they're feeling about you. Okay, somebody's going to try to come in and try to reconcile. Okay, but remember that you have the 7 of swords here. 
saying that there is some type of deception, some type of trickery. If you've gone and left this person, they're watching you. They're wanting to come back in and reconcile a situation when you guys do decide to possibly move on. Okay, move on from a home or move out of a situation. Okay. This is a, talking about somebody that's really unreliable as well. Okay. Maybe an unreliable male with that knight of wands. Okay. But this person will come back and try to reconcile with you. So what's the likely outcome for you? Woo! Almost knocked that over. <laughs> what's the likely outcome for you, Sagittarius? Oh. Yep. I knew it. <laughs> It's still going to be difficult for you, though, okay? Yeah. Sagittarius. One more card for Sagittarius. Like, the outcome of this situation. Well, yeah. All right. Sagittarius. You have the... Ten of Wands in reverse. You have the World card. Okay. And you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to possibly meet an Earth sign. And I feel like this is even going into November. You're going to find freedom from this situation, whoever this is. And I feel like you're going to possibly, at the end, this is why this is at the end. And I'm seeing this. Like the end of October, the beginning of November, you may be meeting someone that is an earth sign, okay, with the Knight of Pentacles here. But this is someone that you're going to feel like you can possibly count on this person. And... You're going to feel like they have a lot of integrity and they're hardworking and they're responsible. Feelings that you did not have with this previous person. Because I see you freeing yourself from the situation, Sagittarius, okay? I see it because you have the world card here. And it talks about the completion of this cycle, okay? Okay. It talks about the completion of this cycle. And then you have your tents here as well. Even in the reverse position, you are you know that you're tired of this situation. You're tired of this person. You're feeling overwhelmed, overstressed, and you're looking for the end of this situation, Okay. And you're feeling like you can only go upward because you are already down from it. But it's a difficult choice for you because I feel like your heart is still with them. Because that's why the, I pulled these romance cards for you guys. Okay, they feel probably the same way that you felt or you're feeling for some of you Sagittarius out there, okay? Like you thought that this was someone that you were going to be with forever. Some of you guys were in a situation where you're going to get married. Or you are married to this person. You're experiencing some type of uh, separation from them. And it does talk about them trying to reconcile a love that they had with you. Okay, someone from the past returning to your life. 
but I see you trying to still free yourself from it because you know what it is. Okay, Sagittarius, that is your reading, darling, for October 2018. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Thank you so much, so, 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 so much for coming back to watch your reading, you guys. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up on this video. I do appreciate it when you do that shit. Thank you so, so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video for me. Peace. Take care. See you guys later.